Hey everyone, it's T. And I'm Tay. And that's Malia in the back. Hey girl. <laughs> and a lot of times I look at my teammates and they have fantastic hair. And today, Taylor is gonna show us how she does it. It's gonna be great. This is game day hair by Tay. Okay. Explain the setup. Okay, so I plugged in my straightener here, so I'm gonna straighten my hair today. So I plugged in my straightener here. My extensions are already pretty straight because I straightened them um, for my internship a few days ago, so it won't be that hard. I'll just have to touch them up. And then basically all I have to do is straighten my hair. So I'm gonna part my hair into two different sides and straighten this side and then this side first. So um, this basically, like I said, I'm gonna divide it up into two parts. Um, I turn my strainer all the way to the highest level, and which is 410 degrees to try to keep it as straight as possible. Um, and it also just makes the hair, um, my real hair and the extension hair blend in a lot better. Now I'm about to put my extensions in and for game day today, I'm gonna do a higher pony. So I'm gonna put the extensions in, um, we consider them upside down. Um, and I'm gonna use this uh, to hold up the rest of the hair so it doesn't leave a crease in. Um, my real hair as I'm putting extensions in. Um, it makes it easier to put up in a high pony. So when you have the extensions um, facing the normal way, you can't really put them up in a high pony because the higher it goes, <coughs> the more that the extensions will just like on the side. And the pony still won't be able to go as high. And then taking it out, you just find where you clipped the extensions into the opposite end of the hair. Um, and then pull it down and then the next one will grow and the next one will be set to go in. Okay, so this next one I'm about to put in, it's still gonna go upside down, but I'm gonna uh, cinch, cinch the uh, end clips in a little bit so they don't show when I put the ponytail. So I'll, uh, that's what you're about to see. Put the middle one in first, and then the end ones I'll fold a little bit and go underneath them. Uh, and you won't see any bumps or anything when you put in when you pull the ponytail because all the other my real hair will be covering them off. So that's what that one will look like. Okay, so this last piece of extensions will go the right side up instead of flipped, since it's gonna be on the very top and it's a little bit longer. Um, I'll cinch, cinch the ends like I did with the last one, um, but this one is gonna be a little bit harder just because it has uh, five clips instead of three. Same with this one. And then the two very top ones will just go over the top of the other clip, like that. Did you see that? Wow. And then the rest of the hair comes out. and it'll be covered up. And then Dunham will come in and do the braid and then I'll put it up in a ponytail. So right now Dunham's parting my hair and we're gonna do a single braid dutched looser on um, the parted side. I'm just doing a dutch braid. So it's like the braid's on top of the hair instead of a front, it's under. Just makes it pop out more. Yes. And it's easier to make looser when you pull it apart so it doesn't pull the other hair from outside of the braid. Okay, so I had to brush the straight hair back into a ponytail first and then I took the braided part and just pulled it back in. And now I'm about to take the hair tie and put my hair up all together. Okay. And then usually I put two ponytails in so it doesn't fall out during the game. And then I'll add a bow um, right before we leave, but I won't put it in right now because we have a lot of time. Game to hair complete.